Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to remotely control your Windows machine from your Mac using VNC. The first thing that you want to do is install a VNC server and a good free solution for that is Tithe VNC. To get Tithe VNC, all you need to do is open your web browser and go to tithevnc.com. From here you can click on download now and then click on installer for Windows 64-bit, unless you're on 32-bit Windows, of course. Once you have it downloaded, you can double click on it to install, and then you can click on next, accept. You can do the typical installation that will install the VNC server and the viewer. The only thing we need actually to be able to share our screen is the server, but I'm gonna install both in case I wanna use the viewer in the future. So again, just leave it to the typical installation. On this screen, you can leave the default selections as well, unless you wanna change something. Then you can click on next to move on to the next screen, and then you can click install to complete your installation. It is strongly recommended that you protect it with a password. Then you can do this on this screen. So you can click here and then you can pick a password. And this will be the password that you'll be asked to enter when you try to establish the VNC connection to your Windows. And you can also set up an administrative password and you can go ahead and click OK. It seems like one of my passwords didn't match and it is the one up here. Let's retype it. All right, you can click on finish here to close the window. And you can also close your web browser at this point. And the next thing that you want to do before you establish your first connection is go over the configurations and make sure that everything is set the way you want it. And to do that, all you need to do is click on start and search for Tide VNC server and you'll be shown all the matches for Tide VNC. And then from here, what you want to open is Tide VNC service offline configuration. Now from here, you can do different configurations. I'm going to leave everything by default, but I'm just going to quickly go over the possibilities so you can change the port. The default port that will connect to will be 5900, but you can change that if you wish. Here you can make it so it does not require VNC authentication. That way, when you try to connect, you won't be prompted for a password. Again, this is not safe. You can enable file transfer, hide desktop wallpaper. This one here is you can allow web client access. So basically what we'll do is if you don't have a VNC client on the machine that you're going to be remoting from, you will be able to use your web browser to connect to the desktop of your computer. But that requires some additional configuration that we're not going to cover in this video. So for now, I can just turn this one off. And then this one, you can add extra ports. By default, it only shares on port 5900. So it's only one screen but if you want to share additional you can set it up here by giving it extra ports you can restrict certain IPs or allow certain IPs to connect to your VNC server and you can set up some videos configurations and some administrative configurations I'm gonna leave them to the default but just so you're aware that this is where all configuration is happening. So if you want to customize something and set it up uh, to your likings, you can do it here. And once you have made all the changes, you can go ahead and click on apply or OK to close it. And then all you need to do is restart your service. So to do that, you can go and click on the start and search for services. And then you can open services. And here you can search for Tide VNC and we have it down here and you can go ahead and restart it. The same way if you want to turn it off, all you have to do is go ahead, right click here and click on stop and that will turn off the VNC server and it will no longer be active. So you will no longer be able to connect to this computer. Now, once we have all that done, the next thing we want to do is check what the IP of our computer is so we can connect to it. So from here, I'm going to click on start and I'll search for CMD and that will open my command prompt. And here I'm going to search for IP config. And my IP in my case is this here, 192.168.0.200. You'll see what yours is. If you have multiple IPs and multiple network cards, as you can see I do, make sure that you pick the correct IP. In my case, I'll be connecting over my Wi-Fi, so I'm looking for the IP for my wireless adapter. So 192.168.0.200 is my IP. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my Mac. And on my Mac, I will search for screen sharing. So screen sharing is a tool that comes with your Mac. You already have this tool that will allow you to connect to VNC servers with by default. 
And here we're going to enter our IP. So we set it as 192.168.0.200. And the default port we said that we're listening on is 5900. And we can go ahead and click connect. And then you'll be prompted for your password since we configure it to be password protected. And so you can enter the password here. You can click on sign in. And that will bring you to your computer's login screen. And then from here, you can go ahead and log in with your user. And now you're going to have a full control over that machine. One thing to keep in mind is that since this is a screen sharing session on that remote computer, the screen will be on and anyone that can physically access that machine will be able to see what you are doing on that screen. So just be aware of that. This is not a remote desktop session. This is a screen sharing session. So just something to remember. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, please post them under the video and I'll do my best to answer them. Again, I hope you liked this video if you did please click on the like button and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe for my channel thank you for watching